Hi, this is Chuck from Nerd3D. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install Poser 13. Begin by going to the posersoftware.com website and click on the Downloads link at the top of the screen. On the Downloads page, click on Install Poser13.exe to begin the download. Once the download completes, open the file from inside your web browser or open it from Windows Explorer. Click on the file to begin this installation. Windows may ask for an administrator password. If you're prompted for the password, go ahead and type it in. At the beginning of the installation, you'll be asked what language you want to use. If you already have Poser 13 installed, it will ask if you want to uninstall it. You will only see this screen if you're upgrading an existing installation of Poser 13. So this is an upgrade only question. In most cases, you will want to go ahead and delete the existing version this will not affect content or any scenes you've created. This only removes the application itself, not your work. You'll be asked twice to confirm the uninstallation. Once the uninstall is completed, go ahead and proceed with the installation of the new version of Poser. Accept the license agreement. On the information page, there's a link to the README files that are available to document updates to Poser. If you're doing an update installation, you may want to go to the release notes and see what's changed in the new version of Poser. The next page is going to ask you where you want Poser to be installed. Poser has two main parts, the program itself and the content that Poser uses. Compared to the content, the program itself is actually not that big. It's only about two gigabytes. So we're gonna choose where to put the program first and then we're gonna choose where the content, the bigger part of it, is stored. You can keep them in separate places so you can take advantage of things like external hard drives to store the Poser content on. In most cases, you're just going to let this go to its default place in the Program Files folder. Select the Components is almost always going to be a full installation, so just leave this set to Full Installation. Now comes what is probably the most important question during the installation where you're going to keep your content. As mentioned earlier, the content is the bigger part of Poser. If you have an external drive or an extra hard drive, you're going to want to use the other location option. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to pick a alternate location and click Next. Then I will browse for the hard drive or folder that I want to keep it on. And I have a separate hard drive that I'm keeping all of my Poser files on. Now it's important also that you remember this path because when you're doing an upgrade installation or an update installation, you'll always want to use the same path here that you used the first time you installed Poser. This is asking where you want to create the Start Menu folder. The default is fine. If this is a new installation, you won't see the top half of this dialog. This is where it's asking if you want to keep the existing preferences or replace them with new preferences. If you're doing an update, you're probably going to want to use your existing preferences. That way you won't need to relink the libraries and everything else that you do to get Poser set up the way you like it. This is important because of this question back here where you told it where the content was going to be. If you choose to reuse your preferences, you need to make sure that the content is installed to the same folder it was originally. The other two questions, creating your shortcuts, well, that's up to you. That's all the questions for the installation. Now it's time to let it do its thing. This is a good time to visit that link that contains the release notes and see what's new in Poser. Once the installation completes, it's finally time to launch Poser. You probably won't want to visit the website right now because, well, you were just there to get the download. Let's go ahead and launch Poser. The first time you launch Poser, you'll be asked to enter your product registration information. Enter your name, serial number, and email address to register the product. If you're beginning a trial, you can go ahead and skip this page. The easiest way to put your serial number in will be to copy and paste it from the email. If you're typing it in directly, it helps to know that there are no O's in the serial number. If you see a round character, it's a zero. Once you've entered the registration information, click OK and Poser will launch. Once loaded, Poser will show you a launcher screen that allows you to choose which startup scene you want to use. Let's open the factory scene to begin with. 
Now you're ready to begin using Poser. Thanks for watching and have fun using Poser.